Hello. A ver. Hi. Uh, Jesus Christ. Where is Team Gold? I know we're doing yellow. Excuse me. Okay. I think we have Ricardo first. I just, can everyone hear me properly? Hey, Laura. Hola. How are you? How are you? Good and you? In quarantine. <laughs> yeah. Are you still in No, I'm in Madrid. It's raining here. Oh, okay. Yeah, same in Segovia. Uh, we're going to have you and then we're going to have Maria Laura, right? Yes, I'll disconnect and then she will call you. Okay, so I'm going to straight to the point start with, I think, the question that most people want to ask. And it's, why are you running for student government in your case? Why are you running again? Okay, so as I said before, I think that the best way to contribute with your community, um, this is a community that has given every single student a lot of things to be grateful. I think that the best way is to actually give back. So last year, well, uh, the first year that I came to IE, I decided to run for a student representative, uh, which mm -hmm. I got elected. Then I became part of the community development committee in Segovia. And finally I said, okay, so, I'm, I have grown so much here in Segovia uh, with this university that it's my time to give back and to serve my community. And it's something that Omar has said always in the campaign that we're here because we love public service and we love to work for IE community. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm here. And the same with my team. All my team wants to serve the community and make it a better place because that's our slogan, here's to change. Okay. And, okay, how do I say this? Mm, some people believe that this year the student government hasn't been as strong as it should have and there's a lot of things that we don't know if you guys have been doing or not if there has been a cut on the budget but you've been like a bit of off the radar so how is it going to change if you run again Okay, so I think that experience is key for someone to lead a, a team. And also inside the team, it's important that we have experience. So last year, uh, um, I, I think the same as one of the student government's uh, community development from two years ago said that uh, with like every single people that is running for student government thinks that they're going to save IE and that they're going to save, uh, for example, in my case, community development, uh, Africa with a lot of uh, fundraisers, etc. So I think that last year served my, uh, like, taught me that in order to actually make an impact and go beyond some events that can contribute with the university, we need to end the bureaucracy that we have here at IE. So I think that's uh, why everything is going to change next year with Team Yellow because we have the experience uh, in which we will tackle the first things uh, like bureaucracy in order to do another uh, all the big proposals mm -hmm. that we have in our page. One of the ways that you said you wanted to tackle this bureaucracy is with the parliament idea, which has been a bit controversial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to explain it a bit further. Okay, so uh, the IE Parliament, I think that uh, many people had the concern uh, that it would create bureaucracy. So, sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that it would create more bureaucracy with the student government and with the administration. But actually what we want to tackle with the IE Parliament is that every single representative comes together, uh, maybe uh, one time per week or one time every two weeks uh, in order to know what are the actual concerns with the, in each degree. Because that way, uh, and I think that's one of the biggest problems of the, of the student government, at the end it's only six people working towards mm -hmm. the same goal that at the end we can do everything that we want, but six people to satisfy more than 3,000 students, it's a lot of work to do. So with the IE Parliament, uh, we want to recognize uh, what are report, what, what, like the, what are the problems and then tackle them uh, 
with the help of the students. Also, with the IPLM, with the IPLM, we will create a certain bargaining power with the uh, university because uh, in this way, they will create uh, like more power to say to the university, like, hey, we're all together, we're all the representatives, we represent every single degree in every each year, so we want this and this and this. And finally, mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, parliament, the third goal is to create accountability for for the student government because I know that many many people complain that uh, the student government does not have uh, someone that regulates them. They do whatever they want. So with the uh, parliament, with the older with all the representatives uh, looking at everything that we do around the year, they actually have something. Uh, and one one of my main goals is also that to give the power to uh, to the uh, parliament is that if they think that is really ineffective the current student government, then they can change it in the way that uh, actual governments do. So I think it could be really, okay. really helpful that way. So at the end, we, we know that there's a parliament that will help us, but also will regulate us and they will have a say in everything that we're doing. And let's say you implement your parliament, okay. And for some reason, the students don't like what you're doing. Um, can you repeat sorry you said like in the parliament people could um, like take the government away no if you're not doing your job mm -hmm. how like is there a time limit that you're gonna give yourselves to do this uh, okay so as the governments do usually in in every single government uh, they have the power to take out the, the president or the executive power so with the with us in in the cabinet, let's say, uh, comparing with the with an actual government, we want them to have the opportunity to to give us a, a certain warnings that hey, you need to do this, this, and this because the university needs to have this. If we don't do it at the end of a certain period, and we need to obviously discuss uh, further details of the of the parliament, then they will have the opportunity to take us out and have a new election if it's necessary. Okay. When we had the debate on Tuesday, yeah. we had some technical difficulties. Yeah, I'm, um, we're really sorry about that. <laughs> I know it wasn't like anyone's fault because you can't control that, obviously. Um, for the second debate, who is going to be speaking? I'm going to be the speaker and representing Team Jello. And I'm making sure that we're, we have uh, more than three emergency plans in case that everything happens again <laughs> because I think that Murphy's Law uh, happened to us that day and, it's, uh, in, uh, and it was actually bad luck for us that Omar had this uh, power cut in, in Cairo then my computer wasn't functioning well then Chloe also had uh, some problems with the camera so obviously from mistakes uh, is where people learn the most and we have learned a lot with this uh, situation so we're going to make sure that this won't happen again. Mm -hmm. Um. That takes me to the question of if in September we continue with the full online environment, yes. what is your plan on tackling this as most of the proposals, let's say, are in presence? Okay, so uh, as you have seen in our, in our whole campaign, we have tried to, to reach all the students in different ways. Uh, for example, today we, have, we had a mental health a workshop mm -hmm. with a coach, a professional certified coach. Uh, yesterday we had a, DJ, a live DJ set on Tuesday, or maybe we'll change it because we have the debate. On Wednesday we'll have a, a live uh, jam session with a lot of uh, talented students in, in IE. So I think that we will translate everything that we can uh, have in September, if we're not there, to the online platform that we have as student, as student government, and maybe also uh, go to YouTube or Facebook to actually gain as much as, uh, cover as much ground as, it, as we can. Mm -hmm. And the last question before we move to your peer is from Paula Molina. Who do you believe is your biggest competitor in this election? I think that all, all of them are the biggest competitors uh, because every single one of them have the, the will and the disposal of helping the IE community and I think and I said it in the in the in the last debate in the last in the few minutes that we had good connection that I thank every single uh, running candidate 
uh, either if it's in communications, in academics, press, in community development. I thank them a lot because actually that's what I need. We need people willing to work and to tackle bureaucracy and then actually... Oops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, and actually develop good proposals that benefit all the students. Perfect. Uh, I think we have to change to Maria Laura, if that's fine. Uh, well, uh, uh, I want to say one last thing. Uh, thank you, Laura. Thank you, iStork. Thank you, Debate Club. Thank you, everyone that has helped in this election, because without you, nothing of this could be possible. So really, thank you. And I think that I, can, uh, I could say this on behalf of every single team that you have been the main... Um, the main person, yeah, the main channel to actually make an effective uh, election uh, is exceptional. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ricardo. Best okay. of luck. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to have now Maria Laura, the communications officer. I think I have to invite him again. If you hear sounds, I'm sorry. It's my mom. <laughs> Um, it's raining and I couldn't go outside today. I also just had a shower. Oh, horrible, but okay. Um, Team Yellow. Let's see. Uh, Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, you? Good, thank you. Okay. Um, Let's go straight into it. Um, I'm going to ask you more things oriented to communications. But yeah. first, um, why did you decide to run to student government? Well, um, it didn't actually cross my mind to do it myself. I mean, when I saw the, like, the open for elections, I didn't think that I was going to run. But then um, Ricardo convinced me. Um, and yeah, he was very persuasive. And so I said, like, <laughs> sure, why not? Um, I love social media. So why not try something different? Um, as you may know, I study law. So I wanted to try something in the field of communications, perhaps, just mm -hmm. not to stay in the same field all the time. So yeah, it was pretty interesting for me. Okay. Um, your communications right now on Instagram are very constant. You're doing IG lives every day posting a lot how do you that's my mom sorry <laughs> <laughs> how do you intend to keep up with this next year if elected i mean obviously it's not doing it every day because obviously not everyone can keep up with live stories every day um and it's very difficult to get content that's what i found to be one of the most difficult things for this week um but um I think that perhaps now you're seeing this because obviously we want to show the best of us. We want to show what we can do in the long run. So um, obviously like planning stuff for the future, as you said before, that because of the quarantine, perhaps we're not going to have the same um, communication as we can do face to face. So definitely that's one of our targets is to improve how we communicate to people. And by doing live streams and stuff that are more interactive, I think that we can do that uh, next year. And I see that to be very possible. One of your proposals mentions Stork. So, um, and I also saw in the comments saying like, uh, I use Stork and Team Yellow together. What are your plans for collaboration with us? Well, obviously, um, for what I've seen of your accounts, um, I see that you are like very structured and that's something I like. I don't know if you can see that evidence in our accounts as well. Um, I think that it's a very efficient way on how you communicate. So um, I think that that merges very well with the style that perhaps we have for communications as well. So um, in terms of communication, we want to collaborate with clubs as well as the Stork in order to, I mean, like try to communicate stuff in Instagram instead of like using email all the time for example so i think that's like the mm -hmm. most important collaboration that we can have one of the questions we had from i'm gonna read it because it's very long from the debate <laughs> um was uh because you guys had problems no and sometimes you couldn't answer um yeah. there were some allegations of people not being 
super correct with the bylaws and the rules. And we asked Tim Yellow if you guys had any warnings because to our attention, we received that you guys had one. So just to clear the air so people know what happened and don't bring that into their mindsets with voting, could you explain what it was about? Yes, of course. I mean, the warning that we did have, and yes, answering the question, we did have a warning, um, but we already tried to rectify. Of course, we got still punished because of what we did, but what happened is not a secret. It's not like we're trying to hide it. Um, what happened was that uh, one of the people in our team, um, simply they miswrote something in a group chat, and one of the rules in the bylaws was that we couldn't ask for support before the campaign started. So um, it was a very misunderstanding. We tried to uh, give evidence and proof that it didn't happen. But of course, um, misunderstandings happen and it was an mm -hmm. honest mistake. So we didn't want to do anything like foul play. Uh, we wanted to go straight by the rules. Okay. Um, another one of your proposals is you want to change the I mascot. <laughs> yes. The chameleon. So we were wondering first why and then um the mascot was chosen in in the basis that they did a poll like two years ago so maybe two years ago the chameleon was representative and now it's not do you plan to keep changing the mascot as new generations come because that's going to be a problem yes of course um i do think that right now it's not not only that it's not the best image that represents us. When you think of blue, which is the color of IE, you don't mm -hmm. think of a chameleon, you know? You think of other types of animals or maybe like icons to represent that color. So I think that um, we should change that for that reason. I don't think, and maybe I'm, I cannot talk in the name of the student body, mm -hmm. but I want to open the possibility of at least, if we want to keep the chameleon, then at least have the student body, the current student body, to decide whether that is what they want to do or not. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, it happens, like, uh, as other universities have struggled to find their mascot on, to find their name in the public. I mean, I, I think it's a very recent university, like, it's very new. So I don't think that this crisis of identity is something that will prolong very longer, but we need to find something that actually represents us as a university. Mm -hmm. Okay. And lastly, well, I think I'm going to let you say whatever you want to the community, <laughs> stop with the questions for a bit. So just anything you want to tell everyone listening? Um, well, yes, we have worked very, very hard in our campaign. Uh, and it is clear that we love what we do. I think that you can see uh, that we are very interested in the student body. Um, not only have we put our proposals out there for people to see, but we also care uh, about the student body. So I think that that's a very important fact to uh, highlight there. So I want people to take that into account at the moment of voting and to think of what the life is going to be in this quarantine. Like it's not only about uh, proposals and about uh, pictures and videos, but it's also taking care of the student body. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I wish you Thank all you. the luck to your team and hopefully see you all soon and on Tuesday on the debate. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Pleasure. Okay, guys, that was it. We're done with the interviews. Sorry for my outfit. Um, you have the five interviews with the five teams uploaded on our YouTube. Um, the ones from today will be soon. There is a debate on Tuesday at uh, 7.30 p.m. Madrid time. It will be on Adobe Connect because I university. But we will try to have it on YouTube. And voting starts on Thursday, from Thursday to Sunday. So vote because the conditions that we're in need someone to be active on the community. So choose your student government wisely. If you're lazy people, go to iustork.org and you can read articles with a summary of what the teams are saying. Um, we have a fact checker, so they don't lie to you. And I think that's it. 
thank you for joining us. Um, sorry for having our faces 24-7 in your feed. Everyone stay safe. Ciao.